What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So, what do you guys think about a fight between Gary O'Sullivan and Patrick Texeda? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, to those who don't know, there are apparently talks for this fight to happen. Uh, according to irishboxing.com, they recently uh, you know, wrote an article that reads, and I, you know, as you guys can tell by the headline, it reads, Spike O'Sullivan to settle differences with recent world champion on the zone. And it reads here, quoting uh, Spike O'Sullivan, and I quote, it reads, My upcoming fight with Patrick Teixeira, I'm waiting on a date from the zone for that. And it goes on to read, I think it's going to be in the undercard of Gabe Rosado. So big card and it might be in California as far as I know. So to those who don't know, there's talks currently going on between a fight between Jaime Munguia and Gabe Rosado to take place uh, in the near future. Uh, I think sometime before the end of the year, at least that's what I'm hoping. So this fight might be the co-future, the co-main event for Munguia versus Gabe Rosado, which is a very good fight in my opinion. A fight between Gary O'Sullivan and uh, Patrick Teixeira will definitely bring a lot of action, um, a lot of entertainment, and definitely a fight you don't want to miss. To those who don't know who Patrick Teixeira is, he is actually the former world champion for the WBO. He lost the title back in February of this year against Brian Castaño. Um, was just not in the same level as Castaño. But he did well against Carlos Adames to win the title though. So... Or I guess to win the interim title. And then he got elevated into a champion. Anyway. Tixeira has a record of 31 wins. 2 losses. 22 wins coming by way of Nagar Tikio. He's 30 years old from Brazil. And him versus O'Sullivan. Like I said would make for a pretty entertaining fight. Both fighters have a style. That uh, where both of them will go at it. In the middle of the ring. And uh, deliver some really good action. And um, possibly a fight of the year fight. You never know. But yeah, T Sullivan's 37 years old now. He's from Ireland. 31 wins, 4 losses, 21 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikio. He's coming off a win against Nodar Robodkadiz Rob back in uh, May of this year, where he won by unanimous decision. Coming back after losing to Jaime Munguia back in January of last year. That was a tough loss. Um... But yeah, this, Gary's getting old, man. He's, he's, he's getting up there in age now. Uh, so it, it's pretty much a last chance, last opportunity for Gary O'Sullivan to show what he can bring to the table and to see if he can still compete at this level in the top of the 154-pound division. Because if he loses this fight, man, I don't know, man. I don't really see him beating anybody um, or being that competitive against a top contender if he loses this fight against Patrick Dixeda. But it's a good fight. I like this fight. And hopefully we do see it before the end of the year. I'll keep you guys updated on it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.